Hello, so welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So yeah, I'm in a different spot because, you know, a girl is trying to get in shape. So she went on a treadmill and she was doing a little bit too much. And her knees is back to feeling like crap again. So I'm propped up in bed on some pillows for the last two days. Unable to do much. But <laughs> hey... So basically, I just need—I know I need to lose weight. Um, this is the heaviest I've ever been in probably 15 years. Lost all that weight, gained most of it back. So my knee's not used to high impact, so I cannot do a high impact. It's just not happening right now. Um, I started keto, so I'm on day five of keto. And the carb thing doesn't bother me. Being creative with the food doesn't bother me. Um, you know, I insert some pictures of based what I've been eating. Um, the thing that bothers me <laughs> is the no sugar part. Um, so being a not able to have my sugar in my tea, because I'm a tea girl, I'm Caribbean, I love my tea every morning. And that part is just irritating the heck out of me. And I can't do green tea without sugar. It just tastes disgusting. So I just, I had to scratch that for now. And then I can do peppermint. I can do the ginger with lemon. Those are good without sugar. I, I survived those. But for the most part, my sugar, the sugar part is what's struggling with me on this keto mess. But it's only 30 days I'm doing it. And then we'll see how how I like it. I might incorporate it more in my diet. But I'm not giving up carbs forever. And I'm damn sure I'm not giving up sugar forever. Just It's just that keto permanent lifestyle. I don't see me doing that. But I need to kickstart this weight loss situation because my knees just not handling my body weight right now i need to lose this weight with that i'm in the bed so you know reading <laughs> so i am still powering through this one and i would say i'm still enjoying it still think this man life is going down the toilets but he's still a lucky man <laughs> in terms of people who he's you know cross paths with and but it's a bit of an adventure um that is still you know mixed with risk i wouldn't even call it tragedy i just would call it misfortune that's what that's what i would call it, or stupidity <laughs> but i'll let you guys know later then to read along for this week i completed week one and i'm really trying my best not to continue because i'm a person just like to just read 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 I almost never stick to the time period for a read along I always finish it too quick and I'm like no let me stop it said week one we're gonna do this my page let me stop but I'm itching to find out what this uh, ranger his name is Darren uh, what kind of mess he's gonna get himself in because he's like that kind of man that just walk into danger or snoop into danger or obsessed with danger <laughs> that kind of deal so if you guys are reading this let me know how you doing i am gonna write in the group i haven't done it yet but i am gonna write in the group um the the, the group discussion on good to um good read and um yeah so how you guys doing with this then i'm also 2k a little less than 2k actually on my revision for my book and I feel much better now because, you know, when, when I was on the live show, I was talking to Franny and I was talking about how the doubt is creeping in. And I've heard that that's kind of normal. So when I came back and I looked at it again, I'm like, no, I'm okay. I just need, um, you know, once I get my, I have a few readers where I guess you call them beta readers. That's going to, I'm going to start having them read the whole thing and give me feedback or and all that once I get that I think I feel so much better moving on to the next process it is my baby my first baby so I think I'm a little bit more emotionally connected and, and attached to it <laughs> so we'll see but anyway this is for today I'm gonna cook I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating today for another keto day and um, so far like I said I feel good I definitely feel like I lost weight um, but I'm not going to go on a scale until after the 30 days completed to give you guys, you know, if it really work or how my body feel. Um, so far, I would say I feel good. Um, my energy level is nice. 
So there's there's some positive, you know, but you know that sugar situation is a problem. <laughs> so anyway, on to the next. So I am still in bed, yeah. <laughs> no, I actually did went to work, so um, yeah, my my knees still acting up. Um, it's getting better, but yeah. But I am. I got about a hundred pages left in this, and this story took an unexpected turn, where it's just like now a, a bit of a tragedy. <laughs> it's. Is oh my god, this this man has been through it, in the name of love. And it's one of those kind of situations where I'm like, I don't, I don't want to love nobody like this, <laughs> because he, oh my god, he he is definitely. If you've read this, you know what part I'm talking about when that situation where what almost cost him his life. So. I was completely wow it was not what I thought was gonna happen to him at this point now you know I have about a hundred page I'm just it's like I'm I'm I'm, I'm holding hope <laughs> to some some kind of happy ending for him because he has been through it um I I do love this book I still love this book um, and it is very much dense and chunky and it's kind of it's kind of like putting me on like a journey of this man and his decision and what his decision um did to him <laughs> you know in in the name of love of a woman and this is yeah oh my god this is something else so I'm going to continue reading it and, you know, get to the end. Yeah. Hello. So I finished an orchestra of minorities. And I am blown away, guys. This book took me through a lot of different emotions. I... Didn't expect this. Now I did read his first book, um, Chigozi Obioma. I think that's how you pronounce it. His last name. But I read The Fisherman, so I am familiar with his writing. And in this book, his writing is amazing. Now this is a story that is a, a twist from um, o Homer's The Odyssey. So. I'm not, I don't remember that story. It's been years. But, just focusing on this book, I would say, <laughs> this book is definitely an emotional roller coaster story. This is about, this book was told in a bit of a magical realism where you have um, a chi, which is known as a spiritual gum. Um, guider like that person you know how people always think of somebody here you're in your thoughts or somebody's you're thinking certain things that's how, that's the impression I get from what the chi is now it started with the host and this is a man that is a poultry farmer and he is you know grieving the loss of his father and uh, one day, he saw a woman attempting to commit suicide. She was jump, going to jump off a bridge. And in a haste, he took two of his chickens and threw it over the bridge in attempt to show her what would happen if she does that. And it set off a series of events after. Um, she fell in love with him. He fell in love with her. But she comes from, she's educated, she comes from a wealthy family. And they didn't accept him. And then that resulted in him making a very, very drastic decision of um, giving up and selling all his, everything that he owns 
in order to pursue a higher education um, that he thought would help him be accepted in her family and be able to marry her. And he was conned by a, someone who he thought was a friend and into going to overseas um, for a year um, to study and that person took advantage and did everything <laughs> completely turned his life upside down so for four years in another country he dealt with the worst it was so bad that I was like it's kind of feeling like he you know like a part of him died during that process and I just you can feel his emotion you can feel him changing you, you just feel the difference in him as a man because prior to that he was just a simple gullible guy that um, at times could be very um, conflicted in, in what he wants because because of you know what he's surrounding with you know a lot of times he was by himself he did, his family is no longer there um, but what happened to him in those four years would destroy any man and he held on to her to survive those four years of hell. And when he was finally able to go home, he wanted everything that was taken from him, including her. But things were not what they seen. And I'm going to leave it at that. What I'm going to say that emotionally felt for this book is dealing with forgiveness. That's that's a tough one for me. So in this book, there's certain things that was happening where I'm thinking, oh my God, I don't know if I could ever forgive somebody for contributing to the hell that uh, in a, someone um what he experienced. And I mean, when I tell you he went through hell, he went through hell. And at the same time, too, I in the beginning of the book, I did not think that woman was right for him. I don't know why because it, it it's just something about the whole situation that felt like the woman was crosses from the beginning. Like, no. <laughs> like, I just felt something wasn't right. And as the story went on, I didn't like her. I, I, I just did not like her. I didn't like how the situation was handled. Even if she felt wrong for not knowing what was going on those four years. It just it just made me mad at that woman. <laughs> and I don't know if I will ever be in a situation where I would love somebody that much. But then again, love love have a way of changing people and making people do crazy things because he was fighting good and evil towards the end. And you know, you can imagine what happened. <laughs> you know, but one one and it was it wasn't surprising, but there's times where it also changed situation where I thought something else was going to happen, and it didn't. But this book, oh my god, this book is so much. I, I'm still, I literally just read this, finished this book about maybe two hours ago, and I'm still wrapping my head around the, the, the whole trauma of that man. Because he was traumatized that... He wasn't himself anymore, and you know, I I, I was conflicted because I I understood what why he did what some of the things he was doing, and I understood why the craziness of him was 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 there because you know, four years of being tortured and you're thinking of a person who you gave up everything for, and that person is a bit of what made you survive. And you come out and you want what you what you lost. You don't know how to survive with the memories of what happened. And this author, I think it's an amazing book. I, I definitely think it's a lot of detail in it. So when he's talking about stuff, it's very descriptive. Um, so, you, you know, if you struggle with books that constantly, like, describe things, then, you know, this is not for you because it's emotion, the things he do, the thing he he's um contemplating on comes with a story comes with something interesting to add to it 
and um there's a lot of really good quotes in this book it's so much that you know i literally was just at time stopping to reread that quote and finding how you know those quotes are so powerful in this story and the writing like i said was amazing he knows how to write and the magical realism in here wasn't too much for me i um it's it gave me somewhat of a imagination of of where the man's mind was um when the the chi was was describing the hosts and describing um what the the what ifs and of some of the decision that he was was basically struggling with but again i can talk about this so much i wish i knew somebody that read this book so I can talk more about it with them because there's so much. I mean, this this is a very dense book. I will say it is long. It took me a while to read it. Um, but it was entertaining and it was thought-provoking. So um, I definitely think, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more challenging in terms of um, the storyline and the things that happen, you know, pick this up. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, and I hope, you know, if you've read this, how did you feel? Let's leave a, you know, leave a comment. Um, I think I'm, I, I, it is like a four and a half star for me. And, and there's a little reason why I didn't give it a five completely. Um, but, you know, I wish that day, you know, good reason to have a star. But it's definitely a four, four and a half star for me. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, culturally, if you, you know, I think also a woman's role, a man's role, it is a culturally influenced story. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're reading this. Um, you know, so that that's a factor in the story. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, <laughs> and have a good day. Bye.